Hello everyone. <clears throat> uh, welcome to Art Mood. My name is Matthew. And uh, yeah, generally on this channel, I play games with really cool art and discuss them. Um, I've usually been um, um, playing fighting games, but I might try some RPGs at some point. So yeah, um, I got Grand Blue Fantasy maybe one or two weeks ago, and I've been playing a little bit of it. And uh, compared to other Arc System Works games, it's not too difficult. Pretty, seems pretty straightforward. But if there's anything I need to know about it that might be useful, I don't mind any backseat gaming. So at the moment, I'm doing. Uh, here, here. I'm doing um, arcade mode. I'll be honest, I probably should have uh, not played a grappler. But, um. Don't read him, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, so she has one, but it's like two, technically. Alright, and she actually has... Um, okay. Okay, yeah, so she, it's the same right. amount. I thought everyone just had, like, one. I think playing a cell was a bad idea. Player one, win. My Switch characters. I don't mind grapplers sometimes, but they'll have to be, like, really special grapplers. Like, uh, Shermie is one of my favorite gra grapplers of all time. I play a certain almost every uh, King of Fighters game she's in. And I think it's because her grapples have li uh, quite a good amount of reach. And they're like attack grabs too. So, yeah. What is... That's what that does. Everyone has like an X button thing they can do. Back in uh, Blaze Blue, everyone has a uh, drive button thing. I failed. That's Whenever hard, the unloved can't find their place, I'll be there to show them their own worth. You're strong for sure, but it's fine to cast off the armor of your heart and shower it with love, you know? change characters like a lot yeah maybe I'll change to another character I'm sure he's a great I mean she's a great character but yeah maybe it's better if I just try someone who's a bit Latif safer for now versus Sorens. see I kind of want to play as that guy so maybe I'll try him I'll see this cutscene first and then I'll change characters That's why your fans like you. <laughs> well, you know what they say, after all. There's one of two ways to a crowd's heart. Through the arena, or through love! Believe in victory. I see. Battle one. Engage! Okay. Uh, main menu, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, let me try with another, with another character. Uh, maybe someone I haven't played as, but who isn't a grappler, I guess. I'll try arcade mode with one character, then I'll do RPG mode for a bit, and um, um, 
character select. Then online mode. That's it. Sorry. Brain fart. I. I want to play either as him or her. I'm still trying to find a character that I can play as that I'll probably be okay with. I'm still trying to find that favorite character, I guess. Sometimes I play as Low Wing, but that's because I like characters like him. Um, I've been highlighting Zoe a few times. You know what? She'll be alright. Did I pick arcade mode? Huh. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll pick because uh, I find it funny. I'll try beginner because I don't know her moveset. The nice thing though is that in um, this game, the moves are pretty easy to pull off. Like, ridiculously easy to pull off. Like, the easiest game to pull off combos and stuff. But, um, I still need Zoe to know how moves work. Cagliostro. I need to know, like, if certain moves connect or not. But, yeah. By the way, guys, I'm getting very close to 10 followers. Um, I'm actually very happy that I've been making this amount of progress. So, thank you, everyone. The primal beast who keeps balance. A rare specimen indeed. Work with me, and alchemy will advance by eons. That's fine with me. But don't forget your promise. You said if I won this round, you would conjure up the world's cutest pie. Okay. Prepare to bake. <laughs> Believe in victory. Sorry. This game makes me chuckle a few times. That's <laughs> quite uh, fascinating. Oh, there's a dragon thing. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, charge it. So she has a meter that allows her to do like extra attacks with her specials. Battle two. I guess. Creation Alchemist Pie? Very well. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Oh, that is good, but what a peculiar texture. What did you say it was made out of? I see. 
Next match, I'll probably pick normal. She's not too bad, so maybe Zoe I can actually do it. By the way, I probably might... I'll try and stream for as long as I can today, but I have to work on some writing. So I need to finish that before two. Doing what you can to look out for us, right guys? But you know... It doesn't mean we can take it easy on her. No holding back, everyone! Wouldn't have it any other way. Your teamwork is nothing short of extraordinary, after all. Now, face me. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage! Game is auto combos, so a little bit like fighters, I guess. Are you ready? Fighters is gonna fall. Enjoy this battle too. I hope you'll let them play with your pets again sometime. Zoe versus Percival. I don't think I've actually fought this guy yet. Probably. So you're the one who keeps the world's balance. A terrible burden, that. But how long can you bear it? Not for eternity, I wager. Humanity alone can't preserve the balance of the sky. But if you need proof... I do like every single character in this actually has like an interaction with each other. It's one of the things I like about our system works games. I mean not all all the big games are like this, but I guess because they don't have too many characters in their games compared to like the competitors, they balance it out by just doing stuff like this. Feel the heat. Feel the heat. May this light set you free. Accept fate. Gather it. Damn. Damn it all. Damn it all. I do what the world demands. Player one, win. Why do you sound so bored? Battle two. Engage! Save the hellfire! Feel the heat! Stop saying feel the heat. Give me Kingdom Hearts 2 flashbacks. Ah! You're doing this out of spite. Rest assured, Percy. 
possible, I will spare no effort in protecting the balance of the Sky Realm. That's cool. Actually, it was quite short though. I was like, what? That, I mean, it's cool, but like, what? Huh? What? By the way, I have to say this. Maybe, I don't know if it's obvious, but I've never played the Grand Blue. That did the, the mobile game. So a lot of what's happening on screen, I'm like, that's so cool, but what happened? Oh, okay. I thought that diamond meant something very, like, you know, specific. Pacific. Zoe versus Grant. Okay, I got a message, so I need to read that. Um, this flippy hair so strong, she's like the Order Grande. Maybe when we grab one thing, I'll be too old. Even if this is just training, I can't let my guard down. So Zoe, you ready? I'm more than excited to begin. Ready. Show me the brilliance of your blade, and I'll do the same. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. You know, it occurred to me, but if he's called Grand in the game series, it's called Grand Blue. Why didn't they call the girl like Blue or something? They called her Deep Blue instead. Fair enough. It's like, yeah. Anyway, it's a tiny, tiny mistake. Actually, not too bad. Push yourself. Player one, win. Especially her battle two. Tatsumaki, kind of smooth. Like the like you do back. She ends in different ways depending on how you pick up the second button first. Finish. I wasn't strong enough. <sighs> Let me in on the fun. I know you'll surpass me one day, Gran. I look forward to it. Ooh. I might actually play as her. Like, I also like this character. Zoe versus Narmaya. Refuse to withdraw. And I will return you from whence you came. I will not stand in your way. I said, you do not have to bear your burdens alone. I'm by your side. Believe in victory. Battle He's so won. tiny. Engage. That's quite cool. I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know. It's like. It's not like she's uh, like from the dwarf race or something. She's just a very petite woman, and I think that's very cool. Perfect. It was tough keeping up with you. Player one, win. How do you actually get the dragon to do stuff?
Okay, but how do you actually like use it? Like she doesn't attack, right? Oh, okay. But it looks like she has moves as well, right? So not just the dragons doing stuff. <laughs> Let's move out. I have been endowed with the powers of the cosmos since birth. In other words, my victory was inevitable. Please do not let these results trouble you. If I may bother you with a personal request. I would love to see the limits of your capabilities and learn if the world is in good hands. You doubt my ability as peacekeeper of the Sky Realm? Very well. Step forward. I shall show you. Believe in victory. That's kind of nice level. Battle one. Rainy, That's quite like cool. I think that's level to play. an oxygen worst game so it's probably a penalty from just backing away. <laughs> Let's move out. I shall keep the Sky Realm safe, no matter the threat. Having the support of your crew encourages me. But take heed, you have but mortal bodies. Do not waste them. Yeah, I figured it was the last boss. Beelzebubu. Beelzebubu. Zoe versus Beelzebub. purpose to keep the balance 
Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. I'm thinking I've actually one of these days if I get my if I max my time better. I want to play that Blade Blue crossover game. I've had it for like years, but I barely touched it. And it's not even that I don't like the game. It's just uh, I don't know. There's always just another game that I want to play at the time. And it's a shame because uh, there's a lot of characters in the game that I really like. To play and I think it's also, as Arc System Works games go, it seems kind of complicated. Which makes sense because it's combining a bunch of different like game and Arc System Works game styles. Also, there's no Margaret in that game. Elizabeth's in there, which is, I guess, fine, but I don't know. Margaret should have been in there. But yeah, also, I, I like that they have the other one, just so I can actually understand what they're saying. No Japanese is not good enough to just understand stuff. Does this guy give you deal vibes? Or is it just me? No need of you. Farewell. Ah, oh, I mean, did it. I see. Huh. So in this game, I guess they don't really. They don't. They don't really have endings, I guess. They just have an image. Which, yeah, I don't know. Like if we look at something like um, the Blade Blue games, even arcade mode, they actually have endings. In fact, the endings are pretty good in the first Blaze Blue game and the third one. In the second game, they all have the same ending, but there's like little dialogue changes and stuff. But um, in the first and second one, the first and third one, they have kind of unique ones. I think some might be generic in the third one, but I think for the most part, they all have quite interesting endings. And even though there's a story mode in both games, the arcade mode endings give you a little bit more insight on those, on those characters, which is good, you know? And you also have to remember a lot of these games come out in the arcades first, and of course, it's only just the arcade mode. You know, so it usually gets you kind of interested in like, oh, this character is really interesting. And when the game comes out and there's a full story, I get to find out more about them. I feel like this image, I get it, but I feel like it doesn't tell me more. It doesn't tell me enough about the character. I mean, from the dialogue, I guess she's some sort of guardian or something. And she's like a big deal. But you wouldn't really get that from this image. Maybe I'm nitpicking, but yeah. Anyway, back to. Okay, I'm going to do other things now. Game over. Plus, I need to finish my breakfast. So, I think in our RPG mode, there's quite a lot of dialogue. So, um, I can probably take some bites between that. I played our um, RPG mode last time, and I got a little bit, um, I didn't get too far, 
pretty much I played the first 10 minutes of the game. So far I'm only just playing as the main character. I haven't gotten any other characters yet. Yeah, I also got this game recently because um, yeah, I've already got him at the moment. Um, because it was, it was kind of a sale on the game. And it's the version of the game of all the characters. So I thought, yeah, why not? Usually with a lot of games now, compared to when I was younger, I usually wait for them to drop in price. Because a lot of games now are ridiculously like, pricey, like 50 or 60 pounds, which is a lot. And sometimes you don't know if you're getting a really good game. It does suck to pay money for like 60 pounds for a game. And you're like, oh, this game is eh, it's not even that great. So, you know. That's why I wait for a lot of games to drop in price. I think I only buy a game if it's full price. If like, it's a game I know I'll definitely like. Like, um... Persona 5. Um, yeah. There's a few other games, I guess. I used to buy the Ultimate Ninja Storm games, so I would always get those full price. Okay, I'm all set. Uh, hold it. Uh -huh. Oigen and Rosetta away, we have to be extra careful. Are you sure you're ready? Ha! You don't gotta tell us. This ain't our first rodeo, Missy. Shut it, lizard breath. I'm just saying it pays to be on your toes. Uh, hey! I ain't no lizard! Eo's right. There are monsters all over Albion Citadel. We don't want to be attacked before we meet up with Catalina. Exactly! Albion is no regular city. Right. Let's stay alert. We've got a strong tailwind. It looks like clear skies all the way along the Galonzo Albion Skyway. If this keeps up, it should be in Albion by tomorrow morning. <sighs> I hope Catalina is doing well. Sailed for Albion, expecting to find the Catalina we know and love. But that's not who was waiting for us. I wish I could say what happened next was a dream. But reality was much stranger. A world of chaos and confusion opened its jaws, ready to swallow us whole.
fair weather speed the oh, the lines are too small. The Grand Cipher on her way. The airship docks in up. Here at last. Now, where were we supposed to meet Catalina? Hey, before we head out, could you help me with some cargo? Gotta unload all the empty barrels and crates to make space for fresh supplies. We have some time before we're supposed to meet Catalina. If we work together, we can clear it up quick. <sighs> Easy there. Isn't that a little heavy for you? I'm fine. I'm a Skyfarer too, you know. And the faster we finish unloading, the sooner I can see Catalina. True. <laughs> Keep up the good work then. I'll go grab another crate. Lyria, can I help you with that? Huh? Oh, thanks, Bran. It did feel a little unwieldy. I nearly tipped over. Um, here, can you take this side? So heavy! Are you sure this dumb jug is empty? It's super heavy! Huh? Thought we finished that one a while ago. Can't let them make a mess of our cargo hold. Leave this to me. Okay, guys, we're fine. Pretty straightforward. Ha! 
game because I've never actually seen how that looks. So the number on their head means that's how many hits I need to do to beat them. Quest clear. Yes. Rupees. Yeah, I'll pick those up. Whatever those do. Uh, I feel like the RPG mode, I was kind of expecting it to be like, you know, like in the Soul Calibur games when you do like like hey, mission mode or edge Catalina? master mode or something. Yeah, we're still a little early. I mean, it kind of is. The place we agreed to meet isn't that far from here. Still, you know what this place is like. Oh, right. It's full of monsters. Exactly. They let monsters run wild inside the walls to train up the academy cadets or whatever. We don't know what we might run into, so we're going to wind up being late if we don't head out soon. You've got a point. I forgot what a crazy place this is. Yeah, let's head out. We don't want to keep Catalina waiting. Mmm, our clouds rolling in. That's not a bad omen. So, it's a bit slow, isn't it? Uh, just a moment, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Oh. Good time. Another. Oh. No, no. Oh, that's 
Spice juice, but, um, like skills. Okay. Not skills, but like stuff. <laughs> stuff. Okay. Ugh. Okay, fine. Do what you have to do, game. Pick a weapon. You can upgrade it to raise its attack and HP. Uh-huh. Yep, a Rooney. Oh, gotta pick a weapon. Let's try up select upgrade. Alrighty. Can I do that now? Ooh, yeah, it's so funny now. Woo! <laughs> uh. you want to raise this weapon's level, I choose Uncap. To uncap a weapon, you need multiple copies of it. Don't forget. Alright. I, 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 okay. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward, but anyway. Anytime you get confused, just check the help section. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's fair enough. Oh, now I can do these. Alright. What's a draw ticket? This better not be a gotcha game, I swear to... I swear to, um... Something. Reaches the agreed upon location and waits for Catalina to arrive. But the time they had set comes and goes, and Catalina is nowhere in sight. I thought the sky looked suspicious. Really opened up, huh? I wonder where Catalina is. Maybe something came up and she's running late. After all, she knows a lot of people in Albion. It might just be the weather, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey guys, can we at least get out of the rain? It's starting to come down pretty hard. We're gonna get soaked. Well, if it isn't the test subject who got away. <gasps> First Day Empire uniforms? Is this some kind of joke? Give up the girl. Quietly, if you know what's good for you. <sighs> We're surrounded. How'd they get the drop on us? Uh, more importantly, what the heck are Imperial soldiers doing here? I'm not crazy, right? The Earth State Empire... F yeah, uh, another thing I do like about some of the recent uh, Arc System Works games is that there's a glossary. You just press the button anytime and you can find out what certain things are.
Yeah. Which Blaze Blue sorely needed because they're throwing, they throw out terms like every few seconds and they just kind of expect you to know them. Oh, it's annoying. Hear what's going on. <laughs> Incredibly. Like playing around. Well, not about to let him have Lyria. Let's bust our way I out guess here. Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue How both have that Lyria? situation. Graham, you handle those soldiers. I gave you a chance to do this the easy way. Too bad you weren't smart enough to take it. You'll never take Lyria from us. Oh, sorry. It's bad, it's very comfy. And I need to go to the gym. Sorry, just I don't know. The pacing's a bit slow. We're doing this final fight style. All right, let's see. Okay. Over here. No. You broke my combo. Over here. Finish. No. Quest clear. That was a workout. Quest clear. Oh, I actually got other weapons. Ah, why can I play other characters still? Oh, okay, fair enough. Let me try this one. This is like a side quest or something. Earth Empire soldiers suddenly swarm the area where the crew is supposed to meet Catalina. Gran and the others find a place to hide from the Imperials and assess the situation. Hey, what's this all about? Imperials? Really? I wasn't expecting to see those faces again. Do you think Catalina's okay? Catalina spent her academy days here in Albion. I'm sure she'll be fine. For now, at least. Report confirmed. It's the girl. She and that crew were spotted in the vicinity. Good. Spread out. No way! They sniffed us out? Eo and I'll take the sides. Grand, can you handle the mooks in the middle? Yeah. I've got Moves. This. I haven't had that word in a while. Stick close to us, Lyria. Okay. What exactly is going on? In any case, we have to get out of here. Okay. What are we going to do now? Who, by the way, for any who is interested, 
Yeah, I think too. tomorrow I'll be doing some drawings. Is it tomorrow? Um. Um, so I'm, I'm actually working on some swimsuit stuff. Just the season after all. So, um, look forward to that. I'm kind of halfway done, but you can watch me work on it tomorrow, I think. Hopefully it's tomorrow. So it's just tutorial stuff, but yeah, right. It's just show you can. It's, it's literally doing a show you can movement. search Guys, hot hands. them to retreat. They'll be back soon with backup. Not to mention this city lets freaking monsters run free and everything. Can't drop your guard for a second. Yeah, that was definitely a surprise welcome the first time we landed in Albion. 
I know the Academy cadets need the monsters for their daily training exercises, but still. I remember our first trip here. Wasn't it the Empire who told us to come to Albion in the first place? Yes, they told us they wanted to make amends. But it turned out to be a bait and switch. Catalina gave herself up to stay in Albion. Yeah, we ended up having to fight Vera, the Lord Commander herself. Albion tradition dictates that a tournament be held to determine the next Lord Commander. Years ago, Catalina was expected to win, but she threw the match. She didn't want to be shackled to Albion. Vera understood Catalina's misgivings and accepted the position of Lord Commander out of admiration for her Senior? Okay. It's really hard to read the letters. Anyway. Maybe I can make them bigger. However, Vera's feelings for Catalina became a became an uh, became an obsession. She planned to guilt Cat Catalina so tiny into staying with her and exploited the Earth's empire to bring her scheme to fruition. Thanks to the crew's efforts, the two women were able to reconcile and Catalina resumed her journey. I really thought I'd lost Catalina forever. It made me feel so sad. Just thinking about what happened back then is making me a little worried. It's gonna be fine, Lyria. Let's head back to the rendezvous point and see if she's waiting for us. There they are! Call for reinforcements! Whoops, that was too long of a stroll down memory lane. Can't take any more detours like that. Where are you, Catalina? Rain continues to pour in Albion. Regardless of why soldiers of a fallen empire are there, the crew had no choice but to, could, to keep fighting. Yeah. They have no way of predicting the shocking reunion yet to come. Uh, I'll probably finish the RPG mode today. Um, can I? Does it save automatically? Hmm, I guess so. Yep, seems automatically. Okay, no problem. So, what I will do is I'll try and go online. And see how that goes. Uh, wish me luck. If there's any advice, I would love to hear it. So I have to do this first. Hmm. I practice with Zeta sometimes. And her? Maybe Zeto might be 
easier for now. Okay, so it determines my rank uh, depending on how well I do in these. Makes sense. It's actually quite a cool idea. Man, if Tekken had this, this would be so awesome. But you kind of have to start from the beginning like of everyone. What's even worse is that with Tag 2, if your name is Red, you can't get rid of it. It, it, ha it turns red if you quit halfway through the match. But in my case, my Xbox just died several times while so I was online. So the system thought, oh, I'm just a quitter. So that's just death forever. Very good and log on. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Yes. Great. Player one. Win. Battle two, engage. By the way, at the moment I'm uploading the old um, uh, videos, not old videos, like the, the previous streams on my gaming channel. So you can check that out at my dashboard. Or if you're just on YouTube, you can just find it there by typing fruit, punch, crunch. And you should be able to find it. Finish. How could I? Well, that's that. At least you have your pride. <laughs> you sure can zip around the sky, but you're no primal beast, sweetie. And do you know how many of them I've taken down? Oh, also I wanted to mention, um, Oh no, I forgot what I was going to say. Eh, it'll come back to me. Yeah, it'll come back to me. I swear the older I get, my the worse my memory is. When I was a teenager, I could remember the minute details about things. And I always thought it was really weird I was able to do that. But now, now it's just like the complete opposite. Now I can barely remember anything. Ugh. I hate becoming old. Hey, yeah. You boys <laughs> thinking what I'm thinking? Hey Santa, knock us out with your super move. Wardrobe malfunction overload. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. We'll see about that. Believe in victory. Battle. I like her design. Engage. But I'll admit, the midriff, as cool as it looks, it just doesn't seem very practical. As a, I mean, what's the point of wearing armor like that anyway? I guess maybe for mobility, but you know that's not why they designed her to look like this. But like I said, I like the design, it's just not very practical. Then again, it's not as bad as, let's say, like, Soul Calibur. I love the Soul Calibur games, most of them, but, yeah, some of the outfits I'm like, really? That's what you're going to fight people in? Okay. Like, it seems like the guys have better outfits for, like, fighting, but you look like you're wearing a bathrobe. I mean, come on. Is that Silk? You know? It's very weird. Okay. 
you'll whip me up a post-workout snack? Sweet. I'll take a sandwich, double the meat. Ooh, someone's living classy. Doubling the meat. Who do you think you are, doubling the meat? Zeta versus Fairy. I do like the art style though, it's really good. And honestly, I want to talk about it in one episode. But I need to kind of structure these better. Because uh, RPG mode is. Uh, okay, okay, wait. After this. Sid is a fast one. So I'm counting on you guys. Let's go. Gruen Logan. Such a Gruen Logan thing. And I don't like it. Prepare to burn. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> yeah, so. Playing RPG mode last week and this week, it made me realize like, yeah, I don't know if it's the best thing to stream. It's kind of slow. And I do want to play RPGs on this channel, but I feel like even as RPGs go, it's just, it's, this one is particularly slow. So, but I'm thinking, should I, I mean... Mm. Like, I don't mind going online. And honestly, arcade mode isn't... It's not bad. Honestly, it feels more like a survival mode in this game. And it's not really endings, per se. Go ahead, man. Well, that's that. At least you have your pride. <laughs> I kind of want a dog now. Hey, Barry, what kind of breed is your ghost pup? Any tips on dog training? So, maybe for the next streams, I will omit arcade mode. Because there's not really any reason to play it in this game. So, I might try RPG mode for a bit, and then online mode afterwards. And, you know, if I uh, have enough time, we can talk about some of the artwork. So, yeah. Because I do like the character designs in this game, for the most part. So, yeah. No more arcade mode for this game. But anyway, it's not like we're missing much anyway. I see you command flames. But don't expect to melt my icy blades so easily. Duh. If they did, this fight would be boring. Just don't freeze up on me. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Okay. Really like her design. Very neat. The skirt seems kind of weird, though. I mean, I like it, but I'm also like, why is it there? It doesn't really have. I don't know. Like, it looks nice, but it's like it's barely a skirt. It's barely doing what a skirt does. I'm 
Yeah, it's just kind of very tiny skirt, and um, I guess a certain angle, it looks kind of nice. Maybe that's... I don't know. So I'm guessing these fights are getting harder and then that that's how it gauges if I'm really good at this game or not. Which fair enough. You know, I'm not against the idea, it's actually kind of a neat idea to be fair. Believe in victory. Pretty good though, right? I'm just that good. What's the worst Fair that could happen? Win. I turned the hard mode on myself. Engage. Saying that. Oh, weep. It's hard to tell what. Oh, uh, what? Well, fair enough. Really cool. Oh, sorry. Not calling you the hair being sorry. undone, plus the armor being gone, that's really cool. I don't know if it's because of how the fight was going or it's because of the move she did, but damn, that's cool. That's so cool. I mean, kind of fan service now, but eh. Is that the last one? Really? I thought those were like meant to be two more. Is this just giving me a break or something? Queue up, I guess.
So I guess it's figured out my level or something. Character select. So I want to practice with. Uh, who's the other character I wanted to play as? Uh, her. Maya. And I will fight against. Belial. Naked. I'm also thinking how long these streams should be. Narmaya versus Belial. Because sometimes if it's too long, it's uh, it sometimes runs into some problems. Also, I want to try and do some sketches before I go out and do some writing. She's got different fights and stuff based on her. She's got different moves based on her uh, stance. So you press this, you press this, that's, that's, that's. The dream is over. Everything's happening. Great! I see you. Great! All is fleeting. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Hmm. Took a while for a match to happen. Okay, uh, let me just look at the animation. Let's, let's, let me check it out. Let's see. Uh, that's a good walk cycle. Sorry, stomach's sassing up. Don't know why. Better get to it. All right, so oh, it even changes the eye. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't notice that. So it actually keeps the same. Uh, she uses the same hand holding the sword for both sides. So a little more attention to detail. Even like the leg, right? So one boot is longer than the other. And yeah. Yes, neat. Oh, even when a stance changes, like hmm. that's cool. Huh. Well, it's not gonna be a fight. The dream is over. It's not a famous game anymore, because I, I think it'll be evil, right? Okay, let me try doing something. Yeah, that's quite cool. Okay. 
Ah, voll cool. He seems to really like it though. Ah. I don't king shame here, so whatever. Actually, choice of colors actually. I'm getting like an artistic spark looking at it. I've never thought about using this type of pink, it's really nice. Okay. Really cool. The details in the hands and the material of the glove is really cool. The hilt as well. I've been wondering this for a while. But is there a reason why every samurai thing, that, that's like the most samurai thing, you know? Why is this a thing? I mean, I don't hate it. It's one of the coolest like tropes in like anime, but still it's just, why is it a trope in the first place? Who was like the first guy to do this trope, the dashing through the person and then like the per the uh, the person that gets hit like takes a while to react to it and then they're like oh you know that's my chance to pause it well not man he's getting worked over this guy that's also cool lighting. I'm trying to learn this kind of light actually. I don't know what it's called, but it's like when there's really bright lights and then really dark shadows. That's still pretty cool. That went right in my head. And then the dark light leaving, that's kind of neat. Come on, there has to be somewhere online. Everything has an end. The dream is over. Everything has an end. The dream is over. Everything has an end. I think if you hold the button, she doesn't do the last hit, so you can actually do our collapse if you want. But I prefer this, because I can't think of good follow-ups to do with her. Cool way to block as well. Man, if she changes, if she changes her stance, and if she blocks that way, okay. I don't think her um, stance changes her other moves. Like the scout bound arts and stuff. Okay. I also yeah, like that the super scout bound arts, they still work even if the um, the entire kit and move doesn't hit. But obviously it does more damage if you're close by. Is over. Is Everything has an end. Yeah, unfortunately, that Skybound art, you have to be very close for it to actually do something. Sorry, I just really like admiring the animation for this game. Uh, it's a little card to select.
You know, it occurred to me, but maybe next week I could just try just do an online mode. Characters. Since queuing just takes this long, um, it might be better if I just do online mode next week. You know? Then um, we can like look at the animations and stuff for these characters. Zeta. And I can also just learn how to play those characters, so it's uh, kind of a win-win, right? There's Belial. Let's pick every Add time Belial. I like saying Belial. 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 Port Breeze. Belial. Sorry. Uh, very immature. I'm very, very sorry. Oh my god. versus Belial. Belial. Bring it. Ooh, he's got a crazy arm. Let me charge my phone. Duh. Okay. What kind of mission time? I'll wreck you. Oh, okay. You know, I don't even think it's necessarily the armor I like. I mean, it is cool, but um, <sighs> I think it's the colors. I I don't really see purple and red go together that much, but it looks nice together. Black, purple, red, I'll yellow. You. They kind of mesh together really well. Squad. Okay. System works. Okay. I have a performance coming up. Rehearsals for that. Soon. I got today. I played Taiko, so. We go around London playing Taiko in different events. Very nice. Very fun. If you're looking for a good way to lose a good amount of weight, you can try Taiko. It really depends on the skill though. Some skills are, um, they don't do the very physical part of Taiko. Like it's still obviously physical, but just some of them are a bit more physically demanding. Depending on the school and style, uh, that school, you know, that. so the one I go to is quite uh, difficult. So I'm usually very tired afterwards. So on those days, it's usually hard for me to stream. So I just, I don't, just it, unfortunately. It's also why I want to try and do these in the morning. Even though I feel like. I get the most viewers when I stream about uh, 12 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. It's the only queue, so that's very really weird. Okay. Let's check out this animation though. Uh, can I restart? There's a button that lets me start, but uh, uh -huh. fine. 
you have to do. Yeah, that's cool. I like that angle. I'm really bad at drawing angles myself, to be honest. Like, usually I need a guide or something to draw specific angles. But he really likes getting hit. See, he loves it. This, got, this has got very Nibelang for Nesty vibes. I don't know if you guys have ever played the uh, Valkyria profile. Okay, those heals look very cool. And it's weird, I, I don't usually think heals are cool. It's not my thing usually, but very cool. Okay, I'm totally lying. I love heals. I love heals. I just, you know, I just would never wear heals. Not for me. That's very cool. I feel like there should be a bit more something here, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm so used to, like... Another game I actually wanted to, like, check out is Ultimate Ninja, in Ninja Storm. Because, like... Just graphically and just artistically, it looks very good. So I wanted to, like, look at that. There isn't, like, art... I, I think there might... I don't think there's an art gallery in the game. I mean, there kind of is, but a lot of it is just, like, screen caps from the episodes. So it doesn't really... I don't, I don't want to look at screen caps. But, um... But we can look at, like, animation stuff there, too. Even that angle is really good. For shortening, I can draw sometimes, but it's so difficult so I can always admire it when someone does it really well that's a lot of damage though I have their health this makes sense I guess I also like that she's in that stance for quite a while. Excellent. That's really cool. <laughs> it does suck that there's no one online at the moment. I think I just picked the worst time to play this game. So, next week... I'm gonna try and still do this time roughly, like 8, 9am on Wednesday. But I'm going to try to um, um, just do this mode instead. And if no one shows up online, we can just look at like animations and stuff and gush that our system works and animation and uh, these character designs, which I'm loving, by the way, for the most part. Although... This is this is a weird nitpick, so don't take this as like anything sage or anything at all. But I wish the character models looked more like the art style. I mean, there's no one there's no one online anyway, so it's just like go to main menu. It's weird, because I actually know there's quite a number of people that play this game. Um, cancel Q.
I know there's, a, there's quite a few people that play this game, so I don't know what the dealio is. Got it, right? Yeah, so let's look at her, right? Um, you know what the best place to look at this would be is um, Glossary. Because I think they have more artwork there for some reason. Man, my stomach's really bad today. I think I drank enough water. Still. And there she is. So I go like this. So I actually really like this art style. Although, um, I actually looked at some of the artwork for like how they make, you know, the artwork for like Grand Blue and stuff. And I believe the artists use um, grayscale to color. So if you look at like the hair, the um, the outlines are the same hair, the same mostly the same and uh, color as the hair, hair color. So the outlines aren't necessarily just black. They like uh, I don't know the right color to describe. Kind of like orangey, browny, you know. To be fair, I have used grayscale to color a few times, and I can appreciate it. Um, I think like it's not a bad style and to be fair it does seem to be very I don't, I don't want to say actually I shouldn't I shouldn't like don't quote me on this but it does seem to be very common in quite a number of Asian um, um, illustrations I've been looking at so Chinese Japanese Korean and it is technically a faster way to color and it's a bit easier to be fair because um, not everyone is able to like judge shadows too well on lighten so when you do it in gray it's a lot easier right um, so I can totally understand that sometimes I can judge light pretty well and other times I can't so it's been quite useful to create kind of nice settings and that's the reason why i wanted to pick this mode because um you can actually look at two pieces of art for each character well most of them anyway but yeah i like her color scheme i think the armor is cool but very impractical I mean, it only really covers her boobs and her arms. It doesn't really cover her gut and her cleavage, I guess. And I get it, fantasy and all that, but still. Also, the skirt just seems kind of... I like it, but I also hate it, I guess, thinking about it now. Because it almost does nothing. But it's also kind of like one of the best part of the outfit. But it's also just kind of weird because it's very tiny. So it's, you know, it's just kind of weird. I'm not even going to talk about the fact that I can, she's just got the tiniest underwear on. But, you know, fantasy, I guess. Um, and also, like I said before, like purple and um, red. I don't really see them get go together that often, so it actually looks pretty nice. But yeah, I kind of wish the games like um, character models looked more like the art style. Like in uh, the reason I bring up like Ultimate Ninja Storm is because the models actually look like the game's like art style. Like the the the, the models looks like the the art style of Naruto, you know. It just looks like a 3D version of the anime, so yeah. It's um, it is neat though the the character models. I'm always a fan of Arc System Work stuff, especially the recent stuff like Fighters, Strive, um, DF Duel. 
I think that's what it's called. Um, animation is fantastic. Um, the, um, even the style in general, the aesthetics, the uh, interfaces, the interface, the interface is also really good. So I can appreciate for that too. Um, but yeah, I think maybe next time I'll try and again try and enter online mode. So maybe next week, no RPG mode, just online mode. And I'll try and get some fights in. And if I can't, we can just discuss like animation and character designs. And you can tell. And if you want to, you can tell me what you also think about it. You know, maybe you've played the mobile phone game, and maybe there's something else you can tell me. But yeah, um, I do want to make some time to just look at some of this character art. To be fair, so. Um, yeah. Again, it's gray scale to color because you can see the outlines of the hair. It's this. It's a darker shade of the main hair color. And again, I'm not saying it's like a bad thing to do that at all. I think it's actually, you know, I've, I've used it a few times, so it's actually a very quick way of balancing colors and stuff. And it kind of adds something to the design too, you know, so not the worst, you know, not the worst idea. If you're interested, try and look it up. It's a very interesting um, way to color. Um, I did actually do a video about this on um, my art channel, but I'm thinking of one day doing a much shorter video because the one I worked on was like an hour and 30 minutes because it was literally a stream. But I want to actually like talk about how to do it in like five minutes instead of like an hour and 30 minutes. So uh, yeah, but that stream was more for if anyone is coloring or drawing with me, then they can join in as well. But yeah, anyway. It's kind of a lackluster episode today. Uh, not too many people online. RPG mode is kind of slow. Uh, which is, yeah, I don't know. I don't know even if I should just play the game a bit myself to go further where it's a bit more interesting, but then what about if you're following the story as well? So, yeah. I think if I get more viewers, I'll, I'll just ask them which they would prefer me to do if they want me to just play RPG mode or online mode. I feel like most people would want me to just play online mode. And to be fair, I'd want to play online mode personally. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll probably call it quits for today. Love the artwork. I actually do want to talk about the artist actually, at some point. Um, actually, I, when I checked online, I think the artist for this game is different from who I thought it was. I don't know if it's always been that artist or it's a particular different artist that emulated the previous one. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, next time should be more interesting because I actually have a better structure now on what to do. So, yeah, next time, please join me for more gaming. Tomorrow I might draw, so you could join me for that. I'm actually working on some swimsuit stuff. Um, so, that should be fun. It's mostly coloring in and drawing some new stuff, but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I feel like now I should just do the outlines before starting the streams because sometimes doing outlining takes a while um, and some people it's fine like I've watched some um, twitch streamers stream for like five hours or six hours or something just working on one piece of like drawing like artwork which is fine but 
sometimes I don't have that time to do it, to do that, and I don't think it's for everyone to watch something that long. I feel like people want to watch something that has a lot of progress. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think on um, Twitter. My my social media is at on my dashboard too. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. And we'll find out what to do with that money at the top right corner. What is it for? I don't know. But, yeah, um, thanks for your patience. And, yeah, I'll try and stream again tomorrow. And, yeah. I'm still working out the kings to the schedule, so yeah, please be patient and check my Twitter if I'm going to stream something. Usually I try to announce it an hour before I stream, but um, yeah, sorry, very long goodbye, so yeah, cheers, bye-bye, have a nice day or a nice night, ta-ta.